Well, the last time I went to the hospital was because I needed a medical certificate. I'd just been offered the job in Kuwait and they needed an official piece of paper from any qualified doctor saying that I had healthy lungs, heart, liver and good eyesight. And, well, I couldn't go to my regular doctor because I had already given his name as a reference. And, well, I was a bit nervous because if the doctor didn't declare that I was perfectly healthy, I wouldn't get the job. I'd always thought they'd give me something to put me to sleep and when I came round, everything would be over and all I would see would be a few stitches. But these days, it's all done with a local anaesthetic so you stay awake through the whole thing and you can see everything they're doing. Of course, they tell you that you don't have to look but you can't really look anywhere else, can you? Of course, you don't feel anything but it's a bit scary. I didn't know what to expect. I mean, when somebody has such a big operation, nothing really prepares you for what happens afterwards. It's not a bit like it is on telly. When, at last, I managed to find the right room, I almost didn't recognise her. It really was a bit of a shock, but the staff all seemed really pleased with her progress and... We're even talking about uh, going home in just a few days. I don't know about these things and I believed what they said. If I'd known what was going to happen, I'd have stayed there all night just to be with her right up to the end. Well, the call on my answer phone said there was this leaking roof in one of the wards. A drip, they called it. Well, it hadn't been raining much, so I suppose it didn't seem too bad to them. But when I got up there, the whole roof was in a shocking state. It's a good thing I looked at it when I did, because one heavy rainstorm and all that lot was going to collapse, and with all the patients in their beds underneath... I mean, I know the National Health hasn't got much cash these days, but they should have had the whole roof fixed. So, in the end, I told them to get someone else to do it. And I'll tell you another thing. I'm going private from now on. The address on the package says Room 4J. Anyway... I've been to the hospital loads of times to visit my gran, so I know the layout pretty well. Anyway, I find room 4H in no time. It says check-ups on the door, so it can't be the room I want. But then there's no room 4I or 4J, and room 4K is the maintenance office, and they certainly don't want a box of surgical knives. So... After I've been looking for a good ten minutes, I ask someone and they tell me, as though everyone knows, it's on the next floor, of course. How was I to know? Anyway, I'll take it up there and then there's nobody there to sign the documents to say they've received it, so I have to come all the way back...